on the up shows his interest in the effects of light on the surface of water. The thick layer of paint is composed of pure colors that, seen from afar, blend together. The proximity of the current, occupying the entire lower part of the painting, indicates that Monet sought both the effects of the reflection of the plants and the depth of the river. The blurring of the characters and the framing of the canoe, cut by the edge of the canvas, recall the language of photography, a decisive influence for the painter. The cut of the scene also refers to Japanese engravings that circulated in France at that time. Monet was not happy with the traditional techniques that were being taught, and so after a very short time, he left the school and began to study with other artists who were trying to create in a new way. They painted outside, with quick brush strokes, more concerned with capturing the feeling of the color and the light than with accurate or realistic painting. This style of painting came to be called Impressionism. Monet painted with bright colors and quick brushstrokes, as he portrayed the impression of an image and the effect of light on it. And as the artist Vosley Kandinsky said, this created a sense of fairy tale power and splendor. Monet was making art that broke current trends, and he was not alone in his quest to find a new way of making art.